Okay, so besides the problem mentioned before, another very interesting problem is called image colorization. In other words, we we'll try to convert a grayscale image into the color imaging state. In this page, we we'll show you a general architecture of deep learning model how to do the colorization of the grayscale image into the color ones. So you can see this uh, model is still based on the convolution neural nets, and we have multiple convolution layers. This convolution layer will do both the I mean, the feature representation as well as do the reconstruction of the images. So given the input image, which will be a grayscale image, and we have one parameter denoting the L. L denotes the brightness or lightness of the pixel inside this image, which will be very similar to the grayscale. I mean, for this L. So based on this great scale image, we can learn its representation by several convolution layers. So by several convolution layers, then we can learn the representation of this input image. And we can further combine this uh, learned feature representation together with some potential corners for each pixel inside the image and to reconstruct the cornered imaging state. The main tricky part will be how can we decide the corners for each pixel inside the input image. The way we do the deciding the pixel corners is via a distribution inside a corner space. Besides the L denoting the lightness of the pixels in the grayscale image, we also have two other parameters, the like A and B. So this is the A B denoting the corner channel, and this is L denoting the lightness channel. So given the pixel with its lightness, then we can decide its corner and according to this RGB distribution. Right. So according to this L, we can decide if A B is a kind of pixel the corners. And follow some distributions. We can represent the probability distribution of this uh, P A B given as L according as shown here. In other words, for some of the lightness, we can find some regions or some corners which will be more likely from I mean, corresponding to the lightness of this pixel. Uh, because this lightness is knowing already given the inputs. So, I mean, with multiple different lightness, then we can decide different corners for different pixels, also which will be correlated with the nearby region as well. So, I mean, based on the image learning representation, together with this uh, colorization space and the probability distribution as shown here, we can decide the potential probability for different corners of this pixel inside the image. So this corner AB will be the corner channel. It's combined with the L noting this lightness channel. It's combined together, we define the final uh, LAB, this image. LAB means L combined with AB. I mean, the lightness combined with corner will be deciding the final uh, output of the corner images. So this way, we'll be able to transfer one a great scale image into a current image via the deep learning model. Inside it, we rely on the convolutional neural nets or not. Also depends on the distribution of the corners in the color space. This is a very high level idea, and if you are interested in this paper or the model, you may refer to the paper shown at the bottom, and they will provide you with the source code, and you can play with it if you are interested in the in the model details. Okay, so let's do a very quick summary for this section. In this part, we'll talk about what is computer vision and what computer vision is about. Also, how to uh, represent images into either the matrix, black, white, grid skill, or color images. Also, if we have a high dimensional medical images, how to represent them in a, into a time sequence of the tensors. Also, we mentioned is computer vision really hard for human beings and why it is very hard for machines. We also discuss what are the problems started in the computer vision area. We talk about the, some potential problems like object detection, localization, and segmentation. We also mention the image classification, style transfer, colorization, super resolution, reconstruction, and the same stage, right? And at the end, we also mention how to use deep learning models to address many of the computer vision problems. And we share with some examples like how to use the CL model to classify the images and how to localize the objects inside the images with this region based CL model. Right? We also mention how to do the style transfer of the images with the CL model and DCN model as well as the all encoder model architecture. At the end, we mention how to do the colorization of the grayscale images into color ones via the CM model right, with the commercial layers as well as the color space distributions. Okay, so this part is just provided with some high level ideas about computer about computer vision, and we also want to provide with some basic information about what are the problems and potential solutions we can I mean, start in computer vision.
Next, we can move to a very important part. It's called the gain or generative adversary rate. This gain model is very important, also very popular nowadays. And it can be able to apply to generate some new images, which looks very real, and very similar to the real data we have. So, and we can discuss about them in the next lecture instead. Okay, so that's it for today's class, and thank you a lot for your attention.